Hello and welcome to Crew Motor Match. My name is Greg, and today we're going to be taking a look around this marvelous Mazda 2. It's a 1.5 petrol, it's the Sky Active G, GT Sport Nav Plus, and it's also Euro 6 compliant, so you don't have to worry about any ULED fees. As we move on to the rear of the vehicle, you do see at the side this car does come with rear privacy glass, which does keep your personal belongings extra safe, and it's also got a sporty feel with the rear fixed spoiler. Ensuring maximum visibility on the road ahead are the full LED headlights along with the LED daytime running lights. The exterior is further complemented by the very stylish 16 inch silver and matte grey finished alloy wheels. And the boot space is plentiful for a car of this size, easily swallowing a weekly shop or even a few medium sized suitcases. As we move on to the interior, your rear passengers get to enjoy the part leather and part suede upholstery. There's even ice fix points which make child seat fixes really easy to be fitted. As we move on to the driver's side, you can see that the door does house a very decorative door insert. And the seats again are very comfortable as they are part leather and part suede upholstery, with the hint of purple in there also. The driver gets to enjoy the use of the very sporty looking leather wrapped multifunctional steering wheel with controls for the cruise control on the right hand side and your multimedia functions on the left. As we focus on up ahead you've got a digital dash with all the views that you could need as a driver and also it sets your cruise control and your speed limiter on there. A very handy and nifty feature to have in this Master 2 is the heads up display which does ensure that your focus is fully on the road ahead. As we now switch our attention to what is going to entertain you on them long and tedious journeys is the infotainment system which houses a various amount of apps like satellite navigation it's really easy to navigate as you're seeing here with the neatly laid out 3d view of the map and you've also got the likes of dab radio which will keep you entertained no end and there's no need while driving to worry about your friends and family as it's very easy to connect your phone via the Bluetooth connectivity and keep in touch with them that way. As we move on down the centre console, this car does come with air conditioning, which is a very nice feature to have and you've also got heated seat functionality, which is a dream to have in them cold winter months. It's very easy to navigate this climate control, there's no need for a touchscreen and to faff around while you're driving. Lower down you do have a storage compartment with two USB ports and you've also got your manual transmission. And moving further on you've got the controls for the infotainment system and a lot of shortcut buttons so it's very simply laid out. You've also got two cup holders and you've also got the benefit of a rear storage compartment and just by slipping the car into reverse it does expose the rear view camera. 